Hello, and welcome to Fat Kid Television. I am your host, Adam Fatka. Today I'll be walking you through a very easy recipe on how to make what I call banana bars. As far as I know, this is a recipe of my own invention, um, although there are probably other things very similar to it out there. Um, the inspiration for this recipe came from the Primal Blueprint Quick and Easy Cookbook, uh, page 9, Primal Hot Cereal. Um, we made this and at one time when I made it, I did not add enough coconut milk, and that kind of led down this this trail of discovery. Anyway, I'm gonna put that book away, and let's get right in. Um, as far as ingredients go, uh, it's really easy to to kind of just go with whatever you have. Um, base ingredients that you will require are nuts of some variety. Today I have walnuts and almonds. Um, you will need banana, possibly bananas, depending on how much you're making, um, and coconut oil, although there is the idea that butter may work. Um, coconut oil in this case works really well because it stays solid below, like what, 72 degrees? Um, so butter may not have that. I'm not really sure the temperature the butter melts at. Anyway, um, for this recipe today we're also going to use some chocolate that I've already pulverized. Um, so basically, um, let me get this set up, and then I'll show you how to put it together. If you look at the original recipe for the Primal Hot Cereal, it calls for half a banana and half a cup of nuts. Um, in this case, much with most of my cooking, I, uh, I just kind of wing it. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the banana that I have uh, peeled here, and I'm going to break it into pieces and put it into my teeny tiny food processor. Um, obviously a larger one would probably be better, but that's also why I broke up the chocolate first. I'm going to put it in there and just kind of blast it for a second. Just so it starts to get twirled. And then I'm just going to start putting some nuts in. Um, as far as how many nuts, I just kind of keep adding them and, and processing it until it gets to a dryish, this doughyish consistency. It's not exactly like a dough, but if you try it, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. So right now it's uh, still very pasty, um, but not too runny. But I'm going to add some more, some more nuts. Um, for those of you who haven't noticed, this recipe is very heavy on things that you probably shouldn't consume all the time, like nuts. Um, so. Probably a little, a little gooey than I would like, but it's getting close. It's getting to the point where the uh, the mix will stay up while the blade spins beneath it, um, which kind of makes it a pain in the butt. Continue. So I need to go spin. Okay. No good if it doesn't get processed. Just work a little more. Spoons. The the goal of this is, of course, um, one to add some fat to it, and two, the coconut oil stays solid, so it helps keep the bars together um, when they're cold. So I'm just doing a couple of a couple of small spoonfuls in there. It's going to take me a, a little bit to get it mixed in since it's not really blending too well right now, but we'll get it.
no more poking. as much a problem if I had a bigger food processor. tiny little Pyrex because this is a relatively small batch and I'm going to dump this stuff out into it. Find my little scraper. There it is. My little scraper. It's going to really make this easier getting this thick goo out of the uh, little processor. So now I'm pretty much just going to go over it and uh, spread it out, flatten it down. Let's see if I can't get this back where it's in the frame. Um, there are some nuts and stuff that didn't get uh, obliterated, but that's fine. It's a little crunch in it. Just kind of spread it out. Try to make it even. All right. Now I'm going to uh, put a light dusting of the chocolate. You could also do maybe some berries or, you know, pretty much anything you want. Um, this is all just garnish and of course it's sticking to my fingers like crazy. And I think I got too much chocolate. So we're not going to use it all. Just kind of push it around. Get a pretty good coat. I'm going to clean off my fingers real quick. I'll be right back. Alright, now we're going to finish this off. Um, another note, something that I thought of I haven't tried yet, but you could possibly do a layer of, uh, of yogurt um, on here, like Greek yogurt or something. Um, if you started doing that, that would probably be more parfait -y and less like cookie bar. But <clears throat> to finish this off, I, uh, I do a light layer of coconut oil. Um, this hardens and that makes it look pretty. Um, since it's white, it kind of makes it look like frosting, um, which is kind of fun. Um, I just spread this around on there. This is this part where it really gets coconut oil heavy. You can end up really using a lot depending on how much you like it and how much fat you're looking to add to your diet. Um, on the other hand, this also makes it extremely satiating. So, I just kind of kind of put it on top, spread it around. There's a bit of a trick required to spread it here without really disturbing the chocolate. Um, there may be a technique, I don't know if you, if you chilled it between steps, if the chocolate would be less likely to, to float and pull around in the oil. But... So, I just add some oil, 
I like to get it as covered as possible. It keeps it from getting crumbly with the with the chocolate bits or whatever. Um, but as I'm sure you can tell, it ends up being quite a bit of oil. Um, after that, I garnish it with a few whole nuts. Um, last time I used pecans and almonds, so it, it was very, very pretty. But I just drop a few whole nuts on top to add to the visual appeal. It makes it look a bit desserty. Um, other ideas, I mean, you could you could maybe sprinkle a little honey on top. Um, if you're if you're eating honey, um, you can pretty much mix anything in here. Once you get the the basic premise down, it's a, a pretty good dessert. If you eat desserts, I usually just eat it as a snack um, when I'm not really feeling all that hungry, or when I don't know something comes up, I can I can cut some and bring them to work. Um, leave them in the fridge at work, and then, you know, when something comes up and I don't feel like fasting, or I really just want to want to nom on something, and then I can eat this. So anyway, that's what we have. Um, I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it in the freezer for a second, hopefully harden it up quick, so then I can, I can show you what's going on. Well, it's going to take a little bit longer before it's chilled all the way through, but uh, post-chilling, this is what it looks like. You can see how that uh, that coconut oil really looks like some sort of frosting. Um, anyway, very tasty, um, very satiating. Depending on on what variation you go with, um, high or low carb. But anyway, give it a try and let me know what you think. All right, rock on.